Hey guys, this your girl, Miss J, back with another video. Just sitting here in the kitchen. Figure I'll chat with you guys a little bit on this Sunday evening. See what my folks, my family, my peeps are doing. Yeah, I'm preparing dinner. Uh, well, it's almost done. Uh, fixing some, uh, I'm cooking a pot roast and uh, some macaroni and crescent rolls and a uh, little mashed potatoes. Not too much. Something that I won't have to cook tomorrow because tomorrow is the beginning of a work week, a school day for a lot of people, especially for the children. Yeah, and just sitting here. And um, today is my mom's birthday, uh, even though my mom is no longer here on this earth and she's resting in peace. Uh, we celebrate her birthday today. And uh, I miss her dearly. Uh, my mom left me years ago when I was very young and uh, I still grieve for her today and I miss her, you know. It's not uh, a day, uh, a few days that might go past that I don't think of her and miss her and, you know, wondering what she would be like if she was here, you know, and, and spoiling these grandkids and great-grand and great-grand, you know, it's just so many of us. And yeah, and I miss her on this day, And but I wish her happy birthday. So happy birthday, Lara. We call her La, you know, for short, you know, uh, all of her kids uh, that do remember, like me and my brother, my younger brother, we were the younger other kids when my mom passed away. Uh, but I do um, have memories that have given to me by family members and loved ones and cousins who talk about her and talk about my dad and when they were young and kids coming up and, you know, I just sit around and just, you know, just get an earful of uh, what she was like, you know, and some of the things that she used to do and, you know, taking care of the kids and, you know, just, you know, being around people who knew her, who have those memories to share with me and then I'd appreciate all those memories that they are just flooding me with, you know, so I could have those memories of her, uh, even though I was a kid when she passed away. And I just want to say happy birthday to you, La, on this day. This is something that we called her, from what I know, everybody say, everybody called her La, short, short excuse me, short for Lara. And um, uh, people say I look just like her, a twin of hers. You know, and I just want to thank each and every one. So, I, yeah, I just want to, you know, sit here and chat with you guys a little bit. See what's going on with you. It's kind of hot in the kitchen, guys. Like I said, I'm cooking. And you know, when the, when you're cooking in the kitchen, it gets kind of hot in here. So, but, uh, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, just sitting around and uh, wondering how many of you people, uh, you people, uh, my folks have loved ones that have gone that you still think about quite often and you do grieve for, you know, like I say, I still grieve for my mom. You know, I didn't have that chance to have that mother and daughter relationship with my mom that I miss and want so bad with a mother, you know, and I see so many people uh, have parents, you know, the way this world is now and sometimes they're treated like they're strangers, you know, they're being taken away from this world uh, by their own children, you know. So, and I do see the good in a lot of mothers, that mother and daughter relationship where you see a mom and daughter doing things together. And, you know, I long for that. I wish I had that with my mom. But I did have it with my grandmother and my auntie, you know. They were the two people I considered that were my parents, you know, my mom's sister and her mother you know, uh, helped raise me, you know, was a big part of my life. And as, as many times if I could, I would go visit at their house and, you know, just be around with them and, and, you know, and sit around and laugh and talk, just being close with someone that was close with my mom, you know, so, and I just want to ask you guys, do you ever get over grieving for a loved one does it get any better i know that it it can get better you know because as years go past you know you think i'm on their birthdays or on holidays uh something in the house you know might remind you of them you know and you just stop for a second and think and maybe smile and remember something that you guys did together or a piece of piece of clothing or whatever that's in the house that you keep that remind you of that special loved one and um 
I know that, you know, it can get kind of hard at times wishing they was here, especially when, you know, they leave children behind, you know, especially small children who don't have that memory of them. And this is what I'm talking about. You know, I don't have memories of my mom, you know, but like I say, my aunties and, and uncles and older siblings, you know, give me those memories of my mother. And I do appreciate it. But uh, yeah, uh, just sitting around guys and um, like I say, cooking dinner. And I see that if you guys are watching the news, the two little girls uh, in California that were missing, they found them. Isn't that something? Prayers do. Uh, prayers are answered, you know, and I'm so happy that they were found. They say they were a little dehydrated, uh, you know, and cold, which to be expected. And they was like a mile and a half almost from their homes. Two little kids that small walked that far, so... You know, so, and they said they had granola snacks where you saw that where they were eating granola snacks and, and, uh, being in Girl Scouts, I, they were saying kind of helped them out. I guess the older, uh, little sister, you know, that kicked in or whatever, you know, so I'm happy that they were found, you know, and that they're doing okay. And just, you know, keep a watch on your children, guys, you know, you know, they wander off from, you know, home and. And a lot of kids want to go places and do things. And just walking down to the street or walking around the corner to the store, you know, anything can happen. So, you know, uh, pay close attention to your children. You know, we got so much evil in this world. And like I say, not enough love. And, uh, you know, anything can happen. So I'm just thankful that they found those kids, you know. So, but, uh, yeah, I'm just sitting here while watching a little television and, um, uh, not doing much, you know, like I say, you know, just thinking of my mom on this day. And uh, like I say, we got some old cold weather coming here in the city. You know, this is March. March is like that. I mean, it could be cold one day and beautiful the next. I was watching on the news this morning where they say maybe back in some around the 80s or early 90s on this day, it was 80 degrees here in the city. You know, so, wow, and today is like maybe 17, 18 degrees, which is not bad compared to uh, last month when we had that frigid cold weather when it was almost 55 below uh, here in the city. So, um, so we got a couple of days of uh, a little cold snap, as they say, you know, that's going to be coming through the city. So, you guys bundle up. I don't know what your weather is like where you are, but make sure you just bundle up and when you're going out. If the kids are going to school, make sure they have on proper clothing. I mean, you know, so they can stay warm and, you know, but yeah, this is March. But I've seen snow in April here in the city, so I'm not surprised about the weather, especially around Easter. It can get real cold when going out to church or whatever. You know, you want to dress the kids up all in their little cute Easter outfits, but... It can be real cold, you know, so put on your coats, your gloves or whatever. If you're going to church to praise him or if you're just praising him at home and you have to go out or whatever. So you guys dress warm. So, yeah, I'm just, uh, like I say, sitting here in the kitchen, not doing much today. It's kind of a quiet Sunday. I'm at home. Uh, my son is going out for today. Well, he should be back home soon, you know. So he was just going out. He'd probably go to the movie. He's a big movie guy, and, you know, he reads a lot. You know, he's into the uh, the books and all of that, and he's a big movie guy. So he loves to do that. And uh, my grandson, um, uh, he's at work. He's been staying here a while with us, you know, until he decide what he want to do, whether going to college or what, you know, so... But anyway, yeah, I'm just sitting around, not doing much. I'm looking at television. I have, a, like I said, I have a television here in the kitchen, you know, and I glance at it every so often. And, uh, yeah, but uh, other than that, there's not much going on, folks. Like I said, I hope you guys are having a blessed evening. And if you're going out, just be safe and uh, watch your surrounding. And um, what are you guys cooking today? Are you cooking up some good? Are you just ordering out or you don't feel like cooking? You know, uh, you can order. I mean, you got ordering now. I mean, you know, they can bring food to your door. 
You don't have to cook anymore. You let someone cook it for you and they will bring it to you. You know, you just said, thank you. I appreciate you, you know, you bringing it to me. So it's, you see how the world has changed now. You don't even have to go to the grocery store, Walmart, any of these places. You can just go online and order anything you want to order now. And they'll bring it right to your door. So, you know, the world is changing. You either, you uh, what do you say, you get on board or you get left behind. You got to fit in to get in, as they say. But um, I'm kind of old school. I still like to cook a Sunday dinner, you know, the taste of my food. You know, it's nothing wrong with, you know, eating out on occasion. You know, there's nothing wrong with that at all. But some Sunday I enjoy cooking, you know, a meal. You know, just to sit down and, and praise God and thank him for the food that we're about to receive. And I hope that all of you out there uh, who are viewing me, uh, viewing me, viewing me, you know, enjoy coming and sit and relax and talk with Miss J. Because you're my folks, my family, my peeps. Uh, if you feel you want to leave a comment below, I appreciate it. Uh, and if you want to talk about what I was talking about, do you ever get over the grief and the loss of a loved one? You can let me know below, but I do appreciate you guys coming in and just chatting with little old me as I always say. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful and blessed week that is about to start. And I hope to talk with you guys in a couple more days. So you guys have a good night, a good morning, and I'll see you soon. See you folks. Bye.